There, there is this loss, right? That things are not the way they ought to be, right? That there's not the justice and righteousness <laughs> in the land. <laughs> and so, so the response is a twofold response. It's just like what the writer to the Hebrews does is the first thing he does is he fixes their gaze on Jesus. He's, he is going to exhort them to persevere in the faith. He, throughout the, throughout the letter, endure. But he starts them there. He starts his word to them by saying, look mm. at Jesus. Mm. He, he's the radiance of the glory of God, the exact yeah. representation of his nature. He upholds the universe by the word of his power. He made purification for sins and sat down at mm. the right hand of the majesty on high. So, so, so your gaze yeah, is fixed horizontally on all of the issues, but you, but you have to also have a vertical gaze right, at who your Lord is because he actually endured far worse than what you're enduring. Mm. Right? He, he, several times, he says in chapter five, that Jesus, well, in chapter two, right, it was fitting for God to make the founder of their salvation perfect through suffering. Yeah. Chapter 5, Jesus learned obedience through what he suffered. Chapter 12, consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself so that you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. Look to Jesus, look to Jesus, look to Jesus, and do that also by, by your life with one another. 